Mud plays a pivotal role in estuarine ecology and morphology. In the study, we elucidate how mud accumulates on tidal bars in dynamic estuaries and how it is preserved in the depositional record. In addition, we discuss the implications of these mud deposits on habitats, tidal bar morphodynamics, and interpretations of estuaries in the rock record. We combine numerical modeling results with field data. The field data provides a detailed spatial and vertical distribution of mud, while the model provides insight into the processes of mud deposition and erosion over time. Our study was conducted on the shoal of Walsorden in the Western Skeld. Based on the field observations, two types of mud deposits were distinguished. First, mud flat deposits. These are thick mud beds at the surface, approximately larger than 10 cm thick. These beds are associated with high elevations, low accumulation rates and often with vegetation. Second, mud drapes. These are thin buried laminae that form and preserve at a wide range of elevations and energy conditions. They are typically a millimeter to a centimeter thick. Model results show that deposition on mudflats occurs just after high tides like water in areas shielded from high flood velocities, indicating that mud accumulation is mostly controlled by elevation, flow velocity and flow direction. Mud accumulation increases shoal elevation, sometimes to supertidal levels. This reduces flow over the shoal, which in turn reduces shoot channel formation, stabilizes bar morphology and decreases local tidal pressure. These effects further promote mud deposition and vegetation settling. Although observations show that mud cover at the surface is relatively high, between 20 and 40% of the intertidal area, mud constitutes only a small percentage of the total estuary volume, around 5%, revealing that only a small fraction is preserved in the stratigraphy. Due to this mismatch between surface and subsurface expression of mud, Interpretations of the estuarine stratigraphy from the depositional record risk underestimating the influence of mud at the surface. Most importantly, underestimating the effect of mud on morphodynamics and ecology.